Matthew's in Washington, D.C. Hi, Matthew. How are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve, sir. How can we help? Hi. So I just had, uh, I guess, two questions about retirement investing. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about investing. I recently started a new job and am trying to set all of that up. So I've heard that you should consider your current salary or tax bracket now versus what you expect to be in retirement and then base choices off of that. Um, but I guess my specific questions are, is one, what is your advice on 401k versus Roth or versus having some combination? And two, what are your thoughts on a good investment option or options once I choose the type of account? Okay. Um, cool. A little bit of backstory about me. I'm, I'm doing, I currently set it up just out of just blind guessing. I'm currently doing 6% in traditional and 3% in a Roth. I make about 120. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Okay. Well, the first thing we would tell folks to do, Matthew, is to make sure you're out of debt and have an emergency fund in place before you start investing. Are you out of debt? Okay. I have about 32 in student loans. Okay. I would temporarily stop your 401k until you get that paid off. Okay. And I'll pay that off with great intensity. You need to do that very, very fast. Because I don't want you missing this oh, 401k yeah. for very long. Very quickly. Beans and rice, rice and beans. No life until you get this paid off. Really fast. Okay. Like your hair is on fire. Okay. Then once that's done, I want you to have an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses. And uh, in your case, okay. that's going to be like 20 grand. And this is a fund you don't touch for anything except for big time emergencies. This is not okay. a, I decided I want to go to the Bahamas for the weekend fund. This is right, a right. emergency. That's not an emergency, by the way. An emergency is a <laughs> negative thing. It's an unexpected event. Okay. So um, right. then once you've got that, then we suggest you put in 15% of your household income into retirement. And that's what we call baby step four. The first three are getting a thousand dollars and getting out of debt and having an emergency fund is one, two, and three. Then baby step four is 15% of your income into retirement. That com is where we come to answering your original question. Okay. But okay. that's going to be more than you're putting in now, by the way. So here's the way the math will work out for you. How old are you? 27. Okay. A hundred percent of the time, here's how the math will work out best for you, regardless of tax brackets. And there's a whole bunch okay. of different reasons. Because a lot of these goobs that write these articles do not consider how people actually live when they get to retirement, and we do, because we work with people that are in retirement that have a million dollars in their 401k. We work with them all the time. Mm -hmm. So we actually see what they do. Here's what they do. They don't use any of it. The income off of it is what they live off of. If you got a million dollars, it produces $100,000 a year. Okay? All right. And so, you, you know. In reality, if you follow this stuff, you don't end up actually trying to figure out, oh, Roth, oh, traditional, oh, back and forth. Here's how it works 100% of the time. Number one, get all the match you can get because 100% return on your money, which is a match, you can't screw that up with taxes or a bad investment. Okay? Mm -hmm. So always take 100% return on your money before you start, 100%. So to get all the match you can get. Then the second thing you do is all the Roth you can get. Because Roth is tax-free. At 27 years old, when you get to retirement, 97% of the money that is in your retirement plan will be money that is growth. You will only have put in about 3 to 4%, and the rest of it will be growth. The growth is either okay. taxable or it's not taxable. It's either Roth or it's traditional. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so you want it to be Roth. If you got a million dollars, taxes is, is two hundred fifty thousand. No taxes saves you two hundred fifty thousand. Pretty simple equation. I like that. Okay, so Roth, everything Roth until you run out and you can't do any more. Then, if you still hadn't gotten to fifteen percent, and the only other option available to you, which is not true in your case, is is non Roth or traditional, then I would do it. I would do some traditional. So in your case. You're going to take all the match, you're going to switch your 401k to all Roth, and then you're going to do an individual Roth as well to get you to 15% of your income because you're probably, you might get there all at work. I don't know. It's going to be borderline, though. 
Uh, but, yeah, if you can get it all in the 401K, that's just fine, too. Then the last thing you ask about is what to put the money in. Here's what mine right. is in. Here's what Ken Coleman's is in sitting next to me. And here's what um, we've recommended for 30 years, and it continues to work. I spread my mutual fund investing in my f- retirement across four types evenly, 25% each. Ready? Growth. Yeah. Growth and income aggressive growth and international and i look for the fund in the selection that i have in your 401k that has the longest best track record in each of those categories warning ahead of time the underperforming category of the four is the international it's not done as well okay but i I still want some overseas i don't want a hundred percent bet on the american economy I'm trying to diversify across types of funds and types of stocks. And over the long haul, that'll play out every single time. I got a letter on my desk that came in this morning from a guy who started 19 years ago. He's got $3 million, and all he's done is those four funds, starting from nothing. All he's done is those four funds. And the weird thing was the letter is now he's spooked and he's wondering if he should keep doing it. <laughs> That's just hilarious. But yeah, no, I'm 62. I got millions of dollars in my retirement and it is all in those four funds. My, I don't ask people, I don't tell people to do stuff different than I do it. So Matthew, you're a new listener. We're honored to have you. Hang on. We're going to give you a copy of total money makeover and um, send it to you. And it's going to give you the details on the baby steps and the details on what we just talked about. I want to encourage you, Matthew, really quickly because you heard what Dave said and you got this high right now. You're on the air. You're going to get off the phone. And when Dave said to pause... 401k. You said yes. You nodded your head. We could feel it. But you're going to probably have some friends and family members try to talk you out of that to do both at the same time. And the reason that Dave and, and we at Ramsey Solutions say pause is we want you to get all that momentum of having one singular goal, and that is to get rid of that debt. Then you're going to catch up. You're not going to fall behind at all. But I just wanted to warn him because, you know, yep. you hear that. It's like going to a conference exactly and, a, and right. a speaker gets you all fired up. And then you go back to the real world and other people who don't prescribe to this kind of thinking and living or people who don't understand why we teach what we teach will tend to be naysayers and you got to guard yourself well, blinders mean, on here you, blinders on real life kicks in i mean That's you come right. home from the marriage council uh, marriage conference and he leaves his underwear on the floor I mean, it's just <laughs> right, real right. life kicks in right? right i mean that's just how it works and so you're that's a good warning and um and, and here's the other thing, uh, matthew one of the things we have around here is if your broke friends are making fun of your financial plan it means you're right on track so you just, you know, if broke people are arguing with you, then you, you're, you're doing the right thing. So uh, your most powerful wealth building tool is your income. And as long as Sally Mae has a, her own spare bedroom at your house, as long as Navient lives in the basement, uh, you got a problem. They're sucking your paycheck away. And so you have to smack them in the nose and get rid of them as fast as you can. Mm-hmm. It's vital that you get control of your most powerful wealth building tool. Because saving 15% of 120000 is no picnic, but it can be done if you don't have any payments. Yeah. And so when you prescribe rice and beans, beans and rice, that is, that is a struggle, but it is designed to streamline you getting out of this process. And now it's all just compound interest and in investing and doing those things you talked about. And so that's, that's the thing you got to understand. Uh, there's a reason why you say you have no life. It's to get done as fast as possible. Get through the storm as quickly as possible. You yeah. know what you can do if you got to three or four million dollars in no debt? Anything a lot more want. than you can do when you're broke. <laughs> you know, I mean, you got these choices. You got options yeah. in. And that's the idea. That's where we're wanting to take you to. We want you to be a Baby Steps millionaire. So, um, and that's the next step after you get through this stuff. So it, it's, it is hard. It is living like no one else so that later you can live and give like no one else. No discipline seems pleasant at the time. But it yields a harvest of righteousness. That one's the Bible. That wasn't me.